I'm sure you've all had a pair of headphones that stop working because the wiring at the jack just starts to fall apart on you. And uh, these are a pair of Koss KCS 75s. They still have excellent sound quality, so it just seemed like a waste to throw them out because the uh, sound on the left one just totally stopped working on me one time when I was running. So I thought it'd be cool if I gave these a totally new look and redid the wiring because I've never liked the wiring in these things. As you can see, it's very uh, just stiff and rigid. Uh, I like uh, headphone wires that just are a little more flexible. So uh, anyways, what I'm going to do here, so I'm going to stick this jack on it. This is a Reen jack. I'm not really sure what the model number is, but uh, it's one of the only ones they make of this style. It's uh, just 3.5 millimeter. And uh, yeah, these are about 250 a piece off of eBay. They're like 90% of them is made up of metal. They're all nickel plated and uh, never actually used these before, but I've heard good things about them. And for the wire, I'm just using 26 average gauge servo wire from Hobby King. It's pretty cheap stuff. It's like 50 cents a meter. And uh, I'm also using some 3 millimeter plastic sleeving to go over the wire just to give it a really cool look. As well as some 5 millimeter heat shrink tubing. And then for my tools, I'm going to use my trusty old uh, Hako 936 so soldering station with a pencil tip. I'm using some uh, 6337 Rosen Core solder because I just haven't really bought into the whole lead, th lead free solder thing yet. And also some various tools like uh, wire strippers. I use them as pliers, a knife, wooden cutting block, and just a wire holder. So uh, it's time to give these old headphones a new look. On a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, there are three metal bands here. The top one, the largest one, is the common, and it goes to both the uh, right and left speaker of your headphones. The middle one is the right hand band, it only goes to the right hand speaker, and the bottom one is the left hand band, it only goes to the left hand speaker. On an actual pair of drivers, you'll notice that uh, both my left hand tabs have the same colored copper wire going to them, and that means that these are the common tabs, and they're actually joined together further down the cord, and then both of my right hand tabs are the sort of the unique left and right hand uh, wires. So, in other words, the two bottom uh, metal bands on my headphone jack. So, you should just make a note of which tabs are your common tabs. That's all you need to really remember. With your uh, headphone jack, take a multimeter and just check to see which one of these soldering tabs is connected to which band. And uh, then you should be good to go. So I tore the wires apart so they're just in these individual strands and then I cut two of them down to uh, 44 inches long and the other two I cut down to a length of I believe it was around uh, would it be 56 inches because I'm going with an asymmetrical sort of around the neck wiring design and uh, so the two red ones will be my common that way I don't have to worry about telling them apart and then the white and black ones will go to the left hand and right hand headphone so yeah that's my basic wiring setup. I think I'm just going to try and twist them together and uh, then I'll have them separate up here at about 36 inches up. So here's the finished product. I have my wire just starts at the end here, goes up about uh, 36 inches and branches off with an 8 inch branch and approximately 20 inches or so for the second branch. So this will be for the left hand uh, headphone. This one will be for the right hand headphone, I guess. Just before I start soldering, I'm going to put this uh, plastic mesh over the wire because once I solder everything up, it's going to be literally impossible to fit the mesh over the wire because there won't be any end of, ends of the wire left. So I found the easiest way to insert the wire into the mesh is just to use some sort of uh, straw or just plastic or wooden stick like this. Tape it onto the wire using some electrical tape and then just this should feed right into the sleeve pretty easily. There we go, just like that. And then you should be able to just work it along, like so. And I also did the same thing to the two shorter ends as well, and now my cat thinks they're really fun to play with. And uh, so anyways, I had three of the uh, plastic chunks of plastic mesh joining together here, wrapped it with electrical tape, and I'm going to chase it with, with some uh, heat shrink tubing as well. So I slid back the plastic mesh and held it in place with some electrical tape for now. And uh, I'm also going to slip on some 4mm heat shrink tubing on the end. And I'll deal with this stuff later on. I've also stripped and tinned about 3mm of the wires at the end there. As well as uh, removed the old solder and just uh, prepped the soldering tabs on my drivers. 
So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to solder on the red wire, which remember is a common wire, to that uh, common tab, and then the white signal wire to the, uh, I guess, right hand tab. With my headphone drivers more or less back together, I'm just going to trim off the excess uh, plastic mesh here and then use that PC heat shrink tubing to just hold it in place. So I put it back together and it looks pretty good. I also put the heat shrink tubing on there. And uh, yeah, I also did the same thing to the other one as well. So yeah, with that, it's on to the jack. So just like with the headphone part, I've uh, taped back the plastic mesh with some electrical tape and I've also stripped and tinned about uh, four or five millimeters of wire at the end there, as well as uh, tinned all the metal contacts on the uh, jack part. And what, I'll be, what I'm going to be doing here is soldering on the two common wires, the red ones, to this big jack, or this big uh, tab at the back, and that's the first band right there. I'll be soldering on the right hand signal wire, this black one, to the tallest tab right there, or the middle band and the left hand signal wire, this white one, to the shorter tab, or the very tip. And what I also need to do is I need to slip on this metal collar before I start. Just get that on there. As well as this plastic insulation sleeve. And lastly, a little bit of heat shrink tubing. Now that everything's all soldered together, I'm going to use the built-in crimper to crimp everything down, uh, including the plastic mesh. And with that, we're done. We've successfully rewired a set of headphones. So now to test them out. Here's the right one. And there's the left one. Sound pretty good to me. Uh, anyways, hopefully you got some use out of this video sometime around other. Uh, thanks for watching.